For thousands of years, man has been trying to draw on the Earth. Now, world-renowned sculptor Andrew Rogers is set to continue that tradition. He is on a mission to create land art on a mega scale. These lines translate into about seven kilometers of stone walls. Drawing on the culture and the history of the land. I wanted to really find symbols that resonated with the people. When you see something like this, it's like a reminder of history. His creations leave a valuable message for those to come. Across 15 countries, including Turkey, China, Australia, Kenya, India, Iceland and North America, a series of massive sculptures have been created using nothing more than local stone and the cooperation of over 7,500 people. Once completed, the Rhythms of Life project, imbued with the mythology, history and culture of communities across the globe, will be the largest contemporary land art project in the world. It's very nice to see the army of China. I want to say hello to you all. Thank you for coming and helping me. This is what we are going to build here. The first thing we will do is build the head and shoulders. And when we come down the mountain, we start building the rest of the body. You've got to understand the scale of this site. You've got one, two, three, four, five hills and four valleys. So it's a huge site. And the corners are very important. This work is going to be here for 100 years. This coin was found in this castle. See, the gap needs yep. to touch. Everything needs to be tight. Here, this needs to be tight against that. They have to come out. So we need big rocks here, yep. This is where I'd like to start it. We've got a marker here. So what it will be is a, a straight line. Want to try and do some drawings on the ground about your history. How many of you have seen a line? So you all know what we're drawing. This is a perfect site because you have a great source of rocks. This 
rock needs to be out here. Yes? If the line doesn't have a good core, mm -hmm. it won't be able to run. Yes. Understand? Yeah. Okay. I'm very pleased to hold this shield. And over the next three days, we are going to create this shield together. And I want to thank you for all the work. I know that this structure will be here for a long time and my son, my grandson, they will be telling that my father or grandfather was here. Without this, you can't crush grain. This is a half man and half bird. You all know this? Every morning when the sun rises and in the afternoon when the sun sets, it will be reflected off this column. Well, I'm talking it's flush with the front. Yeah. Okay, so that's fine. Iceland for me has lots of mystery and lots of history. It's the northernmost city of its size in the world. We go 100 metres this way, so we'll pick up that rocky outcrop. Perhaps we'll start from over here away from those holes. On the first day of the construction, people always think they're here to build a structure. Over time, they realise the structure embodies an idea, and they want it looked after. They keep asking the question, who's going to help look after it? These rocks in the centre, yeah? Down below. I'm very pleased we're creating the labyrinth because we've never had the opportunity to create such a work. It's a winding path, a search for truth. It has lots of symbolism right throughout the world. I want to say thank you to all the workers. You're the most important people here. The symbols that we work with come from the ideas of the local community that the elders know about and cherish and that's what they want you to understand because that's their heritage. This is a fantastic site. It's a wonderful clear atmosphere. We're up at high altitude, 4,200 metres. We have a fantastic assortment of materials to work with here. The rocks are beautiful, great colours, great shapes. 
the work is very good. But here we must build vertical. Poquito. Ah, Fantastic people with a great sense of humour. It's about all our lives and the things that influence our lives. If we don't have a spark of life that comes into being, we don't have life. It's beautiful, it's what life's all about. It's where life begins and it reminds me that we are part of nature. This project is about history and it's about the heritage of the area. This is absolutely spectacular. The steps will start here at zero zero and they'll rise up to eight metres. I want him here to piss yes. the bus. Yes. All right. See this, Rob? Too small. here in Antarctica are the crevasses. You have blow snow that hide the, the crevasses. You cannot see them. Here the ice is very, very cold. Colder than Europe. Minus 20 degrees. This wind is something else. Is it finished? Yeah. Okay, so we can begin to take off the template, if you like. Well done, team. Looks fantastic. It's a 
big, beautiful piece of nature, and it's 15 million years old. And if you look at it carefully, it's full of beautiful fossils. We're going to be building three constructions here. We've had to build a road, we've erected cooking sheds and places for the workers to come to to wash off. The logistics are huge. What's most important about this is it contains the sacred painting of the lion. And this is where we're going to get our second geograph from. What we are building here is an idea. So we're not building a building, we're creating an idea. There's two on this face and two on this face. And we just keep going till we finish. is really good, straight, very good. Another group here. We want the circles to be perfect circles. So always the rocks have to be right at the edge. It's been a great first day. They've built eight beautiful circles. We're just starting. So we do it, make the entrance here. So we'll move these rocks to here and those rocks back. So what's going on behind me is we should have a proper entrance for the sacred fireplace and it must face east. So when the sun rises and the sun sets, it comes through this entrance. Fantastic people, really lovely people.